How's it going guys? Forza Horizon 6 is the topic today once again. There's been a few developments in the topic of Horizon 6 lately and over the past couple of weeks, particularly the past week. It gives us some extra information to consider when we're thinking about Horizon 6, when we're getting it, how big is it going to be, how's it going to work. Let's talk about it because we've had some developments since my last update. Now my last update or my last video, sorry, about Forza Horizon 6 was about the upcoming Xbox Game Showcase. If we were going to get Forza Horizon 6 this year, it was certainly going to be shown or at least teased in the Xbox Game Showcase that was just a few months ago, or a month ago, sorry. It was when Black Ops 6 was announced and it was on June the 9th. That is when we were going to see Horizon 6 if it was coming this year and we didn't hear anything about it. So what does that tell me straight away? Straight away I can tell you guys that the likelihood of getting Horizon 6 this year is extremely slim, extremely slim. So now we've got to start thinking about just how much longer is it gonna be? If we're not gonna get it towards the end of this year, when is it exactly coming? Well, I think there are a few possibilities and I'm gonna cover them now. Something that's slightly related to it, which we will talk about before we get to the possibilities, is that Playground Games just recently announced that Forza Horizon 4 is basically coming to an end. Attention Forza Horizon 4 players, we have an important announcement regarding how Forza Horizon 4's festival playlist will work after Series 77, which starts on July 25th until August 22nd, and its availability in digital stores after December 15th. And they provide a little link here for a full write-up. Let's take a look at what it has to say. Um, the, due to licensing and agreements with our partners, Forza Horizon 4 will be delisted from digital platforms on December the 15th, 2024. This means the game and its additional content will no longer be available for purchase through online stores. Now, this does not mean the game won't be playable. If you already own it, no worries at all. It just won't be available to purchase on any online stores starting December the 15th. Now, before that delisting in December, the festival playlist flow will change as follows. Now, starting July 25th, as I said, Series 77 will begin. When Series 77 ends in August, you will no longer be able to access the playlist screen except to see the festival playlist history. So that's technically the end of the festival playlist over on Horizon 4, starting next month really it will also be the last time that you can achieve any of these achievements here now weirdly starting last week so it's already happened Forza Horizon 4's D DLCs will be delisted from platforms meaning that only the standard looks and ultimate editions will be available to purchase until the delisting happens in December so the DLCs are already gone right now to this moment which is was kind of very sudden but it is what it is. And they will also be offering discounts from now forward. Now, I'll post on screen a few different FAQs about the delisting of Forza Horizon 4. Um, if you have any queries or in, if you were just curious about any of it. The reason I brought this up, because what this means is now we can presume very safely that a bunch of resources over in the Forza Horizon world, over at Playground Games Studios, a bunch of resources that were previously allocated to Forza Horizon 4 are now no longer allocated to Forza Horizon 4 and especially towards December they will be increasingly less supportive of Forza Horizon 4. What does this mean? They're opening it up for Forza Horizon 6. I can't really think of anything else it could be. Now the online servers are still going to work so they still have resources allocated to that but what I mean is there won't be any people updating the festival playlist and stuff like that. There won't be any people supporting the DLCs. That is all going to be gone. Now what this is and this is normal activity. Once a game reaches a certain age they pull back their resources from it so they can get ready for the next big game. If we look back to Forza Horizon 3 and Forza Horizon 4 and 5, back in 2020 when Forza Horizon 4 was striving and it was the normal brand new Forza Horizon game, it was announced that on September 27th, 2020, Forza Horizon 3 was shut down basically what's happened to Forza Horizon 4. Now what this meant is that they were bringing up resources and gathering resources back ready for Forza Horizon 5 and what happened just over a year later Forza Horizon 5 released. So if we put that in a timeline Forza Horizon 3 closed just over a year before Forza Horizon 5 released. Now that does not mean that one year after Forza Horizon 4 gets pulled 
that we'll get for Forza Horizon 6, but it's definitely a good step to get past for expecting an announcement of Forza Horizon 6 to come at some point, is to know that Forza Horizon 4 has already been delisted, the resources have already been pulled from that, that's a good thing for wanting Horizon 6 to come out. When is it going to come though? Because we, we can presume it's not going to be this year. It's definitely not going to be this year. Next year is the big question. Now there are lots of question marks against next year because GTA 6 is still planned for next year and I don't think any game wants to release anywhere near around GTA 6 because that's going to be such a ginormous game that it's definitely going to impact sales of anything that gets released anything near that. So most game studios are going to want to avoid that and if that's next year kind of makes you think if we're going to have to wait till the year after next for horizon 6 but oh focus camera thank you that's just too long i just don't think playground games will wait till 2026 for forza horizon 6. it's possible but i just don't think it's going to happen what do i think is possible in just a few weeks in august there is Gamescom and it's going to be hosted in Germany now I don't I, I'm, I'm kind of pulling at strings here and put my tinfoil hat on so don't take any of this seriously but it's usually events like this where Forza Horizon 6 gets announced so I think there's maybe still a possibility that we hear about Forza Horizon 6 at Gamescom it's not really usually what happens but it's a possibility now i still don't think it's going to release this year but to avoid releasing near gta 6 and to avoid releasing this year which is not going to happen maybe forza horizon 6 gets teased or announced at gamescom next month in germany to release at the beginning of next year not the end of next year where it usually would because that's going to interfere with gta 6 maybe at the beginning of next year just like Forza Motorsport did. Forza Motorsport released at the beginning of a year. Well, sorry, it was supposed to release at the beginning of the year and it was releasing at the tail end. But I don't know, it's a possibility and maybe even predicting things further. Gamescom is in Germany. Maybe Germany is the location of Horizon 6. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. It's certainly possible. I hope that's happening because if that isn't happening, then I really have no clue when we're seeing Horizon 6. I just can't see it releasing next year at the end to interfere with GTA 6. It's not coming this year. So it's either at the beginning of next year or the year after, which is bloody miles away. And I think that would give, if I if I recall correctly, a five year development cycle for Forza Horizon 6, which is huge. That's a massive, that's a massive gap that is, which gives me high hopes for Horizon 6, whether it does come out at the beginning of next year or not. It's gonna be a good game. I've got lots of hopes for it, but we really are still just wondering when is it coming? We've had Forza Horizon 5 delisted. That's a good sign for it's coming soon-ish. Gamescom is still happening this year so there's still a possibility of a teaser or announcement this year. Let's continue to watch the space, see if any news pops up, let's see what happens at Gamescom. I'm not expecting anything but it's a possibility, let's put it that way. And if you've got any hope of it coming next year, definitely keep an eye out on the Gamescom. But that's pretty much it guys, that's the topic of Horizon 6 covered. Again, we'll talk more about it if we have any more information to touch on. That's pretty much it, fellas. I'll see you all later.